I'm an engineer at Aon, and this week we're traveling with the mobile experience to a couple stops in Ontario. We'll be asking our reps some questions about the industry landscape. Let's go see what they have to say. What are some of the most common HVAC challenges faced by commercial buildings in the Toronto area? I would say space is a big constraint. With these taller buildings and growing infrastructure all around the city and surrounding areas, space is um, very expensive. So the nice part about Aon being such a compact cabinet, it seems to lend itself well to fitting in very tight spaces. How do the extreme temperature swings, like from super hot to super cold, affect the different um, ways that you design a system in this area? In this climate in Ontario, where it's traditionally been a very uh, heating dominant climate. So uh, now that we're seeing more designs with air source heat pumps, or sizing these heat pumps for more of the heating season instead of sizing it for cooling and then taking what you get for heating, we're actually sizing it for heating. And then with these really hot temperatures in the summertime, we're able to combat that with the additional cooling capacity that um, we size the heating for. Do you see building owners and consulting engineers in the Toronto area showing more interest in heat pumps specifically due to sustainability goals? I would say generally yes. I do think there may be a little bit of short-term or maybe long-term fatigue that's come from heat pumps. Anytime I go to Lunch and Learns now, I am joking with people that there is no way this is the first heat pump presentation they've ever been to since uh, in the last couple of years. Yeah. But I definitely, I've seen the baseline knowledge has really been built up, so people are much more ready to have the conversations now. A lot of the dialogue and lingo is a lot easier to talk about because I think people have been brought up to a certain speed, so it's become much more accessible.